and we've got snatch and queen and jerks on this day and uh if you can tell already this is kind of a, a pull focused block not so much in necessarily in volume but in incorporating things with the lift so we're doing lots of work from the hang we're doing um pull complexes afterwards and then we're adding pulls to the to the full lifts so don't get married to the numbers on the bar these exercises are meant to create uh, kind of technique mastery and for you to get lots of reps and lots of practice in and the weights will just come with time but you need to gauge load increasing load based on how things feel if things feel sharp uh, you feel like you're getting good height on the bar, the pull feels light off the floor, then you can go up. If not, just take the, the bottom percentage and get your work there. So just don't be married to those because there's, you know, nobody's competing in the snatch pull plus snatch. And that's what we're starting with. Uh, so that's exactly what you do. Full extension on that snatch pull and then do that same thing on the full snatch. That's the idea is push to the floor, push to the floor. It's a one plus one on that. And then we'll move on to clean and jerks where we've got a four repetition complex where you'll do a clean pull plus a clean plus two jerks. And so depending on what your limiting factor is, you know, you'll, you'll load accordingly, but I want you to really focus on the jerks because we're not getting a lot of jerk practice just as of yet. And, um, this is our opportunity to put in the push press work that we did earlier in the week and try to put that into the jerk in terms of a big, strong drive up through the bar. So really try to make those jerks count. Um, you've got, you know, we got five sets here and two jerks. So you've got 10 jerks total, uh, good, strong, clean pull on both of those reps and then good, uh, drive on those jerks. And then we'll follow that up with front squats. This is going to be on the minute. And I want this to be a true on the minute. So you're going to start a continuous clock. And, and then at the top of every minute, you're going to do a rep of front squats. And you're going to use the load that you use for your top double, or it was a triple on day two. So you hit a top triple front squat on day two. You're going to take that same load and you're going to do it for singles on the minute on this day for eight minutes. Again, a really, really good way to accumulate a lot of uh, you meaningful volume you get enough rest that every repetition is is nice and crisp but um and it's not so heavy that you're getting that you're grinding but it's still you know a good a good decent load that you have to really feel so i want those reps to be nice and fast and then we'll follow that up with some armor building seated dumbbell overhead press and uh, back extensions now if you don't have a, a ghd machine or you know like an angled roman chair then you can use RDL. So uh, that is day three.